putting concepts together, our last problem in the notepad, at temperatures near 800 Celsius, steam passes over hot coke. That's a form of carbon obtained from coal. Reacts to form CO and H2. The equation provided is that solid carbon with gaseous water producing carbon monoxide gas and hydrogen gas. This mixture of gases that results is an important industrial fuel called water gas. At the 800 Celsius, the equilibrium constant for this reaction is Kp equal 14.1. I'm noticing it's a Kp value indicating that it must be coming from the expression of pressure. What are the equilibrium partial pressures of water, carbon monoxide, and hydrogen in the equilibrium mixture at this temperature if we start with solid carbon and 0.1 mole of water in a one liter vessel? They're giving me information about solid carbon and the moles per liter of the water. However, Kp is an expression that deals with the partial pressures we need to know the partial pressure of carbon monoxide, CO, times the partial pressure of hydrogen, H2, set over the partial pressure of H2O. Notice how the solid carbon does not play a role in the Kp expression. Pure solids and pure liquids simply drop out. We can use this information to switch using a Pivnert problem from the information provided to find the partial pressure of water and then consider our ice chart. So we'd like to know the partial pressure of H2O from this information, partial pressure of H2O. The volume of the vessel was given to us as one liter. The number of moles was given to us as 0.1 mole. R is the gas constant, 0 0.0821, and that way our answer will come out to us in atmospheres. And we'll need to know the Kelvin temperature for our problem. Given the Kelvin temperature, 800 plus 273 gives us 3710, 1073 Kelvin units. Pulling out for the partial pressure of water, we will hit NRT divided by V. I am finding 8.81 when I solve for the partial pressure of water, 8.81 atmospheres. Now we are ready to develop our ice chart. I'm going to need more room. You might as also consider getting a new sheet of paper to give yourself plenty of room to work the problem. I'm going to recopy the equation it as appears. Solid carbon plus gaseous water in equilibrium with carbon monoxide gas and hydrogen gas. I will begin setting up my ice chart, ICE for ice chart, knowing that we will be using partial pressures since we know the value of Kp provided 14.1. We're being asked to solve for the equilibrium, this bottom row. Solid carbon will not play a role in this expression, knowing that that column will not get filled out. But what we do know is the partial pressure of water, the answer to our Pivnert problem, 8.81 ATMs. The initial concentration in, or pressure units for the products is zero. Let's suppose all of the coefficients are indeed one, so the value of water goes down by a value of x, and the two products get made to the value of x. So water would be at the equilibrium, 8.81 minus x. Carbon monoxide has a value of x, and water has a value of x. We have 8.81 minus x, x, and x, the values of those reactants and products.
knowing that we can sub that into the KP expression, KP was given to us as 14.1 products over reactant. X times X, I'll write as X squared. And on the bottom, 8.81 minus X. We will distribute 14.1 distributed through 8.81 minus X, set equal to X squared. Let's hit that together, 14.1 times 8.81 shows me a value of 124.221 minus 14.1x minus x squared gives me the value of 0. Working into the quadratic equation, I will flip the signs and rewrite positive x squared plus 14.1x minus 124.221 equal 0. Our A value is 1, B is 14.1, and C is negative 124.221. Let's hit the quadratic program and find the values for X. On our calculator, hitting for program, Selecting your quadratic equation, the value for A is 1, the value for B, 14.1, the value for C, negative 124.221. The two values for X come out to be negative 20.238 or positive 6.138. Knowing that pressure cannot be negative, we are solving as 6.138 for the value of x. When we've decided the value for x, 8.31 or 6.138, we need to go back and just fill in the values as we found them, subbing in for the value of x. 8.81 minus 6.138 gives me the equilibrium pressure for water. 8.81 minus 6.138 equals 2.672 atmospheres of pressure at equilibrium for the water. 6.138 atmospheres, the equilibrium pressure for carbon monoxide, and the same 6.138 atmospheres for the hydrogen gas. The value for X was used to determine the equilibrium row of our ice chart.